All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sanko here. Welcome back to the channel. Got a whole bunch of good crypto news stuff for you. And the first thing that I want to talk about is a Cryptopia got hacked while in liquidation due to a hack. So Cryptopia gets hacked again, technically. Oh, Cryptopia, you've suffered enough. Adding to the controversies surrounding New Zealand's collapsed crypto exchange, Cryptopia, the platform allegedly uh, has been hacked again, allowing perpetrators to steal a further uh, $45,000 worth of crypto after a January 2019 hack captured an estimated $30 million in crypto assets. The alleged theft happened a few months after it was disclosed a former employee of the exchange had been charged with stealing the New Zealand uh, close to $250,000 worth of cryptocurrencies and customer data. The latest attack, which happened on February 1st, allowed hackers to access a wallet that was dormant since the hack in January 2019 and belongs to U.S. blockchain business StakeNet and is now under the control of the liquidator. In total, the wallet was said to contain about 2.7 million worth of stake net, which is the native token of stake net. Uh, so it says, uh, we had no prior warning of any intended movement. So naturally, we immediately contacted liquidator Grant Thornton, uh, or Thornton, yeah, uh, who is supposed to be in control of these assets and in charge of redistributing them back to their rightful owners. So uh, Cryptopia wrecked again, but I sure do miss Cryptopia in, in a small way. I never actually really did any trading on Cryptopia or had anything on there for more than two minutes. I, I remember Cryptopia back in the day, and I took one look at it, and I thought to myself, myself, wow, this is a terrible exchange. However, uh, Cryptopia was very unique back in the day in the sense that they would literally list anything. It's kind of like stacks today. They basically list anything that possibly exists. And so if you uh, got a donation of a strange currency or you mined a very odd currency or something like that back in the day, like a proof of work or something, it was usually on Cryptopia and you could slap it on there, get your Bitcoin and then take it back off real quick. But unfortunately, uh, got super hacked a while back and then hacked again while they were liquidating. So, oh man, to be Cryptopia right now, uh, not good. Uh, moving on. Canadian Bitcoin ETF is predicted to hit 1 billion assets under management by Friday. So uh, this is about the Canadian world first ETF and not just Canadian, but world first uh, Bitcoin ETF that is backed by Bitcoin, meaning they have to have Bitcoin and they give Bitcoin or receive Bitcoin. And uh, so far, the volume has been uh, pretty huge and it's increasing very, very quickly. Uh, the first day it did uh, something like 80 million or 70 million dollars worth um, or 100 million or something. It, it was it was quite a bit in the first day. And now uh, we're heading towards one billion. So with only two full days of trading under its belt, the first Bitcoin exchange traded fund in North America reached more than 400 million in volume and is expected to go even higher. And this is in North America, but I'm pretty sure. It's the world's first uh, Bitcoin, true Bitcoin ETF. According to a tweet from a Bloomberg analyst, uh, the Bitcoin Exchange Traded Fund, or ETF, recently debuted by Canadian firm Purpose Investments, is likely to hit $1 billion in assets under management by February 26. His prediction came prior to Purpose reporting its Bitcoin ETF trading $421 million between the time when it was first listed on the Toronto Stock Exchange on February 18th and when markets closed Friday. So the ETF is listed under the ticker BTCC. So the Bitcoin uh, ETF in Canada, nearly a billion dollars. So this is among many reasons why the price of Bitcoin is, is now at $57,000, $58,000. And this is more than I thought it would be. Uh, we were at forty seven, forty eight thousand, dollars $48,000. And I figured we would have to sort of bop off $50,000 for a little while due to the just natural psycholo psychology sell orders that people like to stack at $50,000 and $60,000. But instead, we broke right through it. Um, and that's part to this Bitcoin ETF, Tesla buying all kinds of figures uh, buying in. Another thing that's interesting is that the um, NFL offensive tackle Russell Okung is considered the highest paid in the league because he's paid half in Bitcoin. And he's been being paid in half in Bitcoin for a little while now. And we all know that the price of Bitcoin uh, has basically tripled. Uh, it, well, who knows? Uh, it, it's, it's gone up five times in uh, just really a matter of months. Um, so the professional football player Russell Okung is well known for his stance toward Bitcoin. And well before he was paid in Bitcoin, he relentlessly asked to receive his salary in crypto. And at the end of December 2020, Okung shocked that the world when he announced he would be getting half of his 13 
$15 million salary. So really just only a few months ago uh, is paid in Bitcoin. As Bitcoin has continued to climb higher in value week after week since then, a number of people have noted that Okung has made a lot of money so far for choosing to be paid in Bitcoin. Uh, so what he says, uh, you are the highest paid player in the NFL, an individual said to Okung recently on Twitter, simply by taking your salary in a different unit of, val uh, of value. Amazing. It will not be long before your peers catch on, he said. And uh, he tweets, stack, sats, or die. So I thought that was pretty uh, interesting. I don't think I really need to read the entirety of the article, but uh, just because you're being paid in Bitcoin. Uh, and uh, what's also important to know is that uh, the NFL just capped the league's salaries at 100 180 million dollars. So I think the most any player could be could be paid is as 180 million dollars a year or something like that. Which is really incredible. Uh, and he's getting his $13 million salary half paid in Bitcoin. And since December 2020, um, you know, it's gone up uh, oof, almost almost 50% or something. So it's quite a bit of extra cash there. Uh, but moving on here, Bitcoin is now more expensive than a kilogram of gold. So we did pass that one pound of gold quite a while. And a kilogram is eh, something like what? Like what's the conversion? 2.2 pounds or something? 2.22 pounds. Uh, so basically 2.2 two pounds of bit of gold uh, is still not enough to equal one Bitcoin currently. Uh, so earlier this week in a Twitter debate with bullion dealer Peter Schiff on the relative metrics uh, of Bitcoin compared with gold as a store of value, I think they mean metrics, uh, Tesla CEO Elon Musk said, you might as well have crypto. Musk has been long known for market moving tweets in the cryptoverse, but this week his Twitter pumping powers have become uh, divinatory. As of today, you might as well have a Bitcoin over a bar of gold. So Bitcoin hit its apex $57,634. I think it was at 58. I'm not sure, but the, depending on the time that this was written, uh, but far exceeding the approximately 57,336. Although I don't think I would say far exceeding the value of gold at the moment, or at least a kilogram of gold, but it is more than a kilogram of gold now. So Bitcoin, the gains are way better. Uh, not saying that gold and silver are bad. Uh, they'll always be gold and silver and will always be considered money in the eyes of uh, people, I suppose, but uh, whew, you can't beat those Bitcoin gains, guys. Uh, moving on here, Tesla has already profited more from that $1.5 billion in Bitcoin uh, than 2020 car sales. So uh, it's, it's going to show here that uh, corporations buying Bitcoin right now are literally making more from buying Bitcoin and just holding on to it than their actual entirety of the car sales that they produce. So Elon Musk's electric car company poised to profit more from its Bitcoin investment made in January than from all of its car sales in the entirety of 2020. So Tesla disclosed earlier this month that it bought 1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin in January following Tesla's disclosure. Bitcoin's price shot up like one of the rockets from Musk's other venture, SpaceX. Moments after the news broke, Bitcoin's price jumped up by 8.5%, and Bitcoin kept rising. 12 days later, Bitcoin broke 57,000, securing that $1 trillion market cap. So <clears throat> they believe the estimate uh, has already seen $1 billion in profit from its Bitcoin investment. Compare that to the 721 million in profit from Tesla uh, as it's reported its fiscal year in 2020. So basically just buy Bitcoin and then you don't actually have to produce any products. Oh, this could be bad actually. Maybe this is bad. This is a good thing for anybody that's currently holding Bitcoin, but what is the future gonna be? If you know, and another interesting question I kind of pose is, is who's, with MicroStrategy, they basically bought an additional $1 billion in Bitcoin, or they should have bought it by now. I believe they did. I haven't seen news that they actually did or, or did not now, but they were trying to sell company notes for another for an additional billion dollars in Bitcoin, uh, and they were selling company notes for that, which is essentially they're just going to be paying interest to somebody. And so those, those person, they're going to basically give them the money. They're going to get the company notes. But who's going to make out on that? Who, who's going to make more profit? Is it is buying $1 billion in Bitcoin uh, going to be more profitable than cashing out those, uh, those company notes in 2027? And one might say, well, that's an easy one. It's probably going to be Bitcoin. 
because you're only getting a certain interest rate or something like that on those company notes or, or profits or something, uh, and then they're due 2027. Uh, so it's probably, whoever's doing that is probably gonna make some money, but the person that's getting the Bitcoin is going to be making more money. So you have to realize at some point, people are gonna say, okay, well, why should I even invest in anything else? Why even make cars? Although I don't think Tesla is gonna stop making cars any, anytime soon, but it's an interesting question. Uh, okay, why would I have bought your company notes for a billion when I could have just taken my bill Billion dollars and bought Bitcoin. And I think that's exactly the kind of conundrum that is going to get Bitcoin rolling even faster and faster as more companies start to buy this and more companies start to pile money in, realizing that they're going to make a billion dollars off their Bitcoin by just putting $1.5 billion in. Interesting. Moving on here to some uh, kind of silly news. OKCoin, okay, the uh, the exchange suspends Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV trading. So Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV getting wrecked. And uh, I feel like that this uh, that this news is three years old uh, kind of deal. Because I remember the drama between Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin when Bitcoin Cash first came out, they were sort of doing a little mini hash war and price war. And if the price of Bitcoin cash was long above Bitcoin, then it would have become the, the real Bitcoin. I remember they were trying to fight over the ticker of it, that, that Bitcoin cash wanted the BTC ticker, um, but exchanges weren't, weren't, um, uh, they weren't participating very well, and some exchanges use different tickers besides BTC. That's where you see that other ticker from Bitcoin. Uh, but yeah, and then uh, and then Bitcoin SV came out, and some people tried to suspend it as well. So it seems like this is like three years old, and then like a year old from Bitcoin SV. Although when, when did Bitcoin SV come out? It was over a year ago, I think. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, Fiat to Crypto Exchange, OKCoin said it will suspend Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV trading on the 1st of March because the platform's commitment to protect Bitcoin. OKCoin uh, CEO Hong Fang said that the company feels very disturbed by the copyright claim and threat of legal actions that Craig Wright is waging against the open source community. And you can see here that this is why this is seemingly like a year old because Craig Wright has been sort of waging this war against the community since, what was it, like late um, 2019? they were doing those hash wars or was that uh, 2018 um, I think it was late 2018 that caused the price of Bitcoin to go down to $3,200 I'm pretty sure it was around then uh, so it seems like really really old but uh, hey okay coin you guys do you and so if, if we can continue to allow trading of BSV on our platform we run the risk of implicitly supporting such an attack on the open source nature of Bitcoin which is highly destructive to the Bitcoin ecosystem uh, as for Bitcoin cash uh, she said only that uh, uh, some may feel tricked or confused by the branding ambiguity between these assets and Bitcoin. Should the BSV and Bitcoin Cash communities listen to the broader market and choose to rebrand away from the Bitcoin, in, uh, in, away from Bitcoin in pursuit of their own path, we would be happy to revisit our decision and change our stance on these assets. <laughs> uh, I love it. Wrecked. Good. Good for you. Okay, Coin. Moving on to coin market cap here, 56,838 Bitcoin. I think we were a little bit higher. Uh, something like 57 or 58 was the all time uh, so far. Let's check that out and uh, we'll go to the week and see what that was. Uh, 58,200 or so, which I'm sure it was it was a little higher or less on certain exchanges as coin market cap is just sort of an aggregate of them all. Uh, $1,914 <clears throat> Ethereum Binance coin now takes the, the top three spots. So Binance coin, it, it's almost like sort of a scab on the community, really, because Binance coin is such a centralized coin that's really only for an exchange and yet it's 284 dollars i mean hey fair enough if you're a coin holder uh but uh, i don't think it should be there but either way uh polka dot 37 dollars and 99 cents cardano well over that dollar market a dollar seven and going down a little bit i think it was like a dollar 15 was its high um but that's all i have for you guys for now make sure you like subscribe share the video helps me out a lot my social media in the description below channel memberships are active become a channel member later there's going to be perks for that but right now you just look 32% cooler when you comment on the channel. You have your ch your, your Cool Beans badge. Uh, I can see it from space. It's great gains. But that's all I have for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And as usual, I'll see you guys next time.